Spoiler alert. Spoiler. Make sure you watch the episode before watching this video because we will be giving details of the show. So make sure you watch the episode first. Hi, y'all. I'm Ivy. And I'm Yak. And welcome to another episode of Show Realm. In today's episode, we're going to be giving y'all a couple thoughts about the Hulu series, The Girl from Plainville. Michelle Cotter, 17-year-old girl. Text her friends for three days telling them her boyfriend's missing. But this girl knew he wasn't missing. She was in contact with him the whole time. Right up until he killed himself. But... Before we get started, grab y'all drinks, grab y'all snacks, and relax your body. Clear your mind. Open your soul. Forget everything you got going on at home, at work. Oh, that. And come vibe with us. Welcome to our room. Alright y'all, now that we got our drinks, hopefully y'all got y'all snacks and y'all ready to get into this video because this episode was crazy. Yeah, it was. Alright, let's just get into the thoughts. First thought is, what was our favorite moment? You remember what my favorite moment was? Mm -hmm. It was when Conrad come walking in, walking in the house. You look alright. No broken bones, no blood. Yeah, I'm fine. What? No, I just thought something really terrible must have happened since you left your sister at a pizza shop. And his dad was so mad in the chair. You could tell. But he was trying to ask him, like, you all right? You okay? You had to be okay. And then that's when he went in on him about leaving the, leaving the sister. Yeah, that was, that was kind of messed up. I mean, she was getting a little annoying. But at the same time, that is a sister, and it's dangerous to be leaving your sister, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So, I get the dad's frustration, you know, being us being parents, so I can understand that. But it's just like, yeah. Yep, and that was my favorite moment. So, y'all, my favorite moment, okay. Y'all know Michelle getting everything together for the little, stop, the little, what was it? fundraiser it was right? a yeah the fundraiser and at the fundraiser the detective showed up and i'm like oh crap like it's about to go down right so when he started questioning and then the girl michelle well, what, what was the girl name michelle right no yeah. melanie was her friend name right what was the friend yeah, natalie name? natalie yeah you're right mm -hmm. so natalie and the other girl i think her name was cassie or whatever they go down and basically they like, oh, the detective is up there asking about, you know, you said that um, Conrad was missing for three days, right? And Michelle like, yeah. And she's like, oh, well, the detective is up there asking questions and stuff. And when she looked at the detective and they made eye contact. Some guy was asking. What guy? I think he's a cop. Like he looking like I know I know you a liar I know you fraud I know you suspect and she looking like dang like he not believing me he owns me that was like my favorite part I was like yo yeah he was it looked like she was more scared than anything mm -hmm. cause after she found out oh that eye contact me you here for me mm -hmm. so. Yeah, we'll see how that work out. Yo, I was just like, it's lit. All right, our next thought is, who is the biggest threat? And I feel like this question is tough. Because it depends on whose point of view you're looking at. Are you looking at Michelle's point of view? Are you exactly. looking at the mom's point of view? Are you looking at the detective's point of view? Like, Conrad's point of view like whose point of view are you looking at because basically anybody could be a threat you know what All I'm right. saying to the other person exactly so who's yours 
So in my biggest threat answer, I kind of went with who's the biggest threat to Michelle, and I put the cop because he owns a. You're just making it harder on yourself by pushing it off. You just have to do it. Bring me something that can prove intent. Contradiction, even a cover-up, and we'll talk. You haven't got it yet. And low-key, the mama owns her, too, so they both threats to Michelle. So who's your threat? Mine is Conrad's real friend about Robbie. Yeah. Yeah, he's starting to pick up on all her little ways. Yeah. Everything she doing, and, and like, he, like... He always knew someone, right, anyway. Yeah, he's starting to know that she off a little bit because he's talking about let's have the fundraiser in, <laughs> in where Plainville. he's... In Plainville. Well, she want to have it in Plainville, and he was like, let's have it where he's from. Right. Like, why? But she's like, my friend's going to be... High. Who cares about your friends? That's how he was like, okay, you know? Yeah, so that brings us to the next thought, and that's the biggest mistake. And mine is when she just left to take a picture. You ever said you talked about me? Oh, yeah, he said that. Sorry, once again. <laughs> In the middle of talking to the mom, she just decides. How did she do it? She was so tight. Because she first telling the mom, like, he talked about you a lot. And the mom's like, okay, what well, he said about me. And she over there seeing Robbie and them getting attention. And she's like, <laughs> she's like, hold on a sec. And I'm just like, girl, she's going to go run over there. Conrad. You know what I was doing? You know, like, say Conrad on three. And she's like, Conrad. Hold on. Hold on. The mama looking right at her. Yeah, the mama looking like. Girl, you that you that pressed over a pic. Hmm. The mom not getting no pictures. The mom just sitting down like, you know, she's still processing everything. And then old God didn't even let Robbie speak. Girl. Something that I had it all planned out. It's got to go a certain way. Yeah. His true best friend. You ain't let him speak. You're doing too much. Yep, that was my mistake. The biggest one. So my biggest mistake is after that cop had her rattled, frazzled, dazzled, finna go into a panic attack because she was nervous. You know, she was scared. She gonna go send a random text to, was it Natalie? Yes. Yeah, she gonna go send a random text to Natalie. I don't, I forgot what it was about, but it was just like, it made no, it made no sense. Like, it made sense. In the fact that now you're lying. You know what I'm saying? Because it made no sense to the three days. and Right. You know what I'm saying? Now you're lying. And she sent her out of panic. And now it's just like, why would you do that? Mm -hmm. That was a mistake. Because, not, like, mm -mm. girl, what is you doing? Whole time. She don't even know. They looking for stuff like that. Exactly. So... So that leads us into our final thoughts. So this episode sheds some light. I did like that it showed us how Conrad and Michelle met. Mm -hmm. Cause we was thinking like, did they even meet? You know what I'm saying? So it showed us how they met, how they fell for each other. You know, um, it also showed that the cop is on her, but like he is not playing. He knows something is fishy and he going to get to the bottom of it. Um, it also, highlighted what we already said her thirst for attention like you doing all this having a thing in um plainville and stuff just to satisfy your friends not even caring about conrad friends it's just about you you know what i'm saying and also you know i was kind of skeptical i'm like did he commit suicide i was straight thinking like this girl murderer you know what i'm saying because of the clips they were showing at the end remember yeah. when they was arguing it was like i never want to see you again and stuff so i'm like did she get mad and, like, knock him off and he didn't even commit suicide? You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm like, okay, what if this, like, her imagination? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. what if that never happened? Because she is just, like, you know, we know she has issues. She's not all the way there. So, like, you never know. So, that's my final thoughts. What's yours? 
my final thoughts is basically the same as that old they're closing in on her then the whole time she out lying talking about uh conrad had got her some flowers yeah conrad didn't even see you before you I, left. I know i remember her looking her little puppy dog mm-hmm. eyes out the window he didn't even see you girl before you left like i don't get what was the point of that was it just to kind of like rub it in her, his mom face how special she was to him or just like maybe it's some it's something that she would like somebody to do for her you know what i'm saying like i don't know the motive behind that just to make her feel better about herself you, you know so ain't no telling what her motive is with that mm-hmm. she probably just on some i'm a lie to myself to make myself look the best yeah yeah, he was my everything. You know, she keeps on, he was my everything. We were in love. I'm like. <sighs> Michelle, Michelle. All right, y'all. That's all we have for this episode. Let us know down below in the comments what y'all thought about this episode. What y'all think about Michelle. You know, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so that we can go through this season together because it's going to be a doozy. I just already know. So. That's all we have for y'all. And come back and get this fire content.